Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 111, if I've counted them right. I wish I had my computer with me. And if you haven't read the description, I'm going to be talking about this year album. This is Chris Squire's Fish Out of Water solo recording. Now, again, just a little recap if you've not watched the other videos in the sequence. After recording Relay, the boys from Yes all decided to go off and do solo albums. And I've been talking about them. And this is the one from Swill Squire himself. Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, before I start, my furry friend is indeed with me. Here he is. Alex, do you want to say hello? Alex, a say hello? Oh, there you go. He said hello that time. So there you go. Um, and back, back with the show. Oh, so um, oh, just be camera. Um, so yeah, what's to say about this? Well, it's notable for having a, a quite an eclectic lineup. You've got uh, Bill Bruford on the drums now. Knowing that Bruford and Squire you know, don't always get along, that's kind of adds a, an interesting tension to the recording. You've got Mel Collins from uh, from Circus and King Crimson. Playing the saxes, Jimmy Hasten on flute, Patrick Moraz on organ and bass synthesizer. I mean, he was soon to be ejected from Yes at that point, so that's quite interesting. Uh, and Barry Rose on the pipe organ and Andrew Price Jackman helping out everywhere else. Um, there you go. So, I mean, yeah, oh, I have mixed feelings about this record, unfortunately. Um, yeah, one, I'm a fan of uh, Squire as a bass player and um, backing vocalist. I, you know, I, I find this record a bit heavy going. Uh, quite like the first song, Hold Out Your Hand. It's quite a nice, uh, popular number and um, it moves at a terrific speed. Now, my main problem with this record is a lot of the songs are a bit uh, overcooked and go on a bit. So for me, hold out your hand is the best. It's the best moment, and after that, it's downhill all the way. Um, it it seeks into you by my side, which again it starts off pleasant enough, but I get the feeling, you know, a lot of these records needed a producer there to say, "Oi, Chris, pull it back a bit," and um, and this goes for the, the the rest of it. I mean, I quite enjoy parts of the last track, safe. Um, you know, but the rest of it, I, I, I get a bit tired of hearing um, Squire's whale of a voice because you know, whilst he's a fantastic bass player and very good doing the backing vocals, when he sings on this album, I think he's improved a bit. He tends to wail uh, and, and that. But um, the thing that keeps me going is hearing Bruford, you know, taking his aggression out on the on the. the on the rim shot, on the, the snare rim shot, <laughs> and that keeps things going for me. Also, what I found with the record, I mean, I haven't heard the, I think it was a remastered edition a few years back. Oh, where are you going, Alex? You, look, oi, what's going on? He's moving. Um, are you comfortable? <sighs> Never worked with animals. Um, I've got his bottom wedged firmly against my thigh. That's what she said. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was remastered a, f a few years ago. I've not heard that. I've only got the LP and the iTunes download. And it all sounds a bit reboxing. I don't know if it's because it was, I don't know where it was recorded. Uh, maybe it was recorded at his, um, yeah, it was recorded at his home studio. But it does seem kind of closed in. It, is, it does sound very similar to parts of Relayer, funny enough. You know, I was talking about the production of Relayer. If you followed that video, it's kind of a continuation. There are, do you mind? Um, there are um, similarities there. Uh, I know some of you are probably going to... Are you done? Are you comfortable? He's not comfortable. Um, <laughs> I know some of you are, are probably going to wave your fist at the screen with the rating I'm going to give it. But this really is like a lesser recording. I know a lot of you like it. I've heard a lot of you uh, 
you know, say, oh, when are you going to do Squires Fish Out of Water? And, well, here it is. Um, but, yeah, so for me, it needed a good producer on there to tell Squire when to stop. Um, it might have helped him having a few um, guest vocalists on there as well. Uh, I mean, he has got a good... What I like about Squire, he has got a good pop sensibility. He's got a good ear for melodies. But some of his vo uh, some of his lyrics are a little, you know, lacking, you know. Um, they're, they're very literal um, lyrics. Um, and that's a shame, really. So, yeah. So this is the problem I have with it. And that's why... I'm only going to give this. I've got to think of a. I've got to think of a. Uh, yeah, I thought of something. That's why I'm only going to give this two and a half lucky sevens out of five. That's two and a half mind-bending lucky sevens out of five, because it's just it just needs pulling back. And again, it also illustrates everything that's wrong with Chris Squire. He he he. He's a great waster of resources, I mean, from what I've read. You read Bill Bruford's biography and everything. You know, this is a man that loves to um, waste time. And I get a feeling that this could have been a really a good a good record, a better record, if he'd have had someone to help him shape it. And I've got a feeling everyone just said, yeah, Chris, this sounds great, rather than take an objective view of it. Um, I'm sure many of you out there will thumbs this video down and disagree with me, but hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way the mop flops. Um, yeah, the next one up will be Steve Howe's Beginnings. Unfortunately, I did have it on vinyl, but it's not in my collection anymore, which is a little concerns me somewhat. Um, so I hope that someone hasn't pilfered it, but I do, well, actually, I will be, after this, going to buy the download because it's no longer in my collection, so I need to um, put that to right. Uh, my name's been Darren Locke. Uh, you've been hearing me talking about... It's snoring now. Uh, talking about, it's amazing how dogs can fall asleep so quickly. It takes me ages to nod off. I've been talking about Chris Squire's Fish Out of Water album from 1975, and uh, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this. There's only one more thing to say. And that is, prog on.